Assalamualaikum, it's me Izaza. <laughs> okay, so apparently uh, today is my day four of my quarantine. So by the time I'm gonna upload my next video will be in five days time, which is my day nine of quarantine. Apparently, I managed to reach UK safely. Yay! Currently, I'm studying in University of Derby in Buxton. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, I managed to get to a placement in University of Derby. I'll be studying in Bachelor of Science in International Spa Management. Um, I'll be studying as a final year student. So apparently, um, my school, Republic Poly, which is my course previously, was in Diploma in Wellness, Lifestyle, Spa Management, and it's a plated course with Derby. So I'm gonna do some room tour. And I will share with you guys what it's like to fly during the COVID period. And yeah, stay tuned. Welcome to my lovely home. My bed here. And there's uh, I bought extended wire right there to put my charger. So I can use it while I will be lying down. And the window here. Look at the view. Yay. So this is my study corner. Yep. Um it's good that I had humidifier with me because it's dry and wait. And at time I can switch on the light. Isn't that cool? So it helped to keep my room moist and yeah, I bought this at Shopee. <laughs> so apparently I bought all the cards that my friends give me. My sister. I will never leave you to Kaka Iza from Insha, I love you. Oh, so sweet. This is from Shu. This was the card that I received back in Vietnam. This is from Shu. This is from Lin, um, my friend, my roommate. From Vietnam last time, so I bought here. Um, Allah. From Tina, yay. Okay, here, um, like just put whatever stuff. Like there's the water bottle that I can heat up, my book, my tissue, and here is all my snacks, my medication, my vitamin. Yeah, I need to eat my fish oil and my vitamin C here. Ta -da. My wardrobe is technically simple. Few coats, bags, and my personal item on top. Okay. Ah, uh, good thing there's a mirror here. <laughs> okay. So here's the toilet. I just love it because it's like I have my personal toilet. Yeah. Ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> Ta -da. So we're going to the kitchen. Ta Isn't this wonderful? Like, it is my dream kitchen. <laughs> okay, so basically, right, before uh, we came in, it's like half packed already because they provide us some food before we uh, for our quarantine for 14 days. And yeah, and some of it is we brought it from Singapore. And you know one thing that I really like it is that they have two different types of I mean dustbin. Uh, one is for the general waste and one for recycling material, which is good. And they all recommend me us to use this disposable bag instead of plastic bag. So yeah. There's garlic, there's banana, yeah, I should eat some later. Yeah. 
And look what we have here. Some drinks, vegetables, bread. Yeah. Technically, I have cleanse it. So, this one is like for the halal one, and this one like for the non halal one. So basically, I'm staying in High Peaks Hall in the school accommodation. It's just a few minutes uh, distant from my school dorm to my campus. And during this quarantine, they provide some food. Um, and then they have... They gave us a welcome gift bag for the international students. So, um, okay. This one, I actually have ready <laughs> Yeah. So basically inside this um, bag, I think I will put some picture here. Um, they, gave us, they gave us SIM cards so students like me do not need to worry about okay where should I buy SIM card or yeah because um, yeah give care SIM card that they give to us and they give us card inside the SIM card too. Yeah, we got. I received another welcome pack from them. It's a fragile item, so I'm not sure what is it. So we're gonna unpack it together. So here you go. I'm not the wrong person, but oh, I'm making the glass. This is all my essential things that we need. Yeah. So apparently in Singapore, um, they asked me to like try to be educated by 12 midnight because they can fly off earlier. So apparently, yeah, uh, they told us to because it's during COVID period, so not a lot of people will be traveling, and they asked me to like be educated by 12 midnight. I thought I can take my own sweet time, go to the gate But because it's like you need to reach the gate half uh, half an hour before the flight off So it's a private number so they called me like Hey uh, Miss Isa where are you? Because uh, we are going to fly off soon Then I'm like wait what? Fly off soon? So I was from the... I was few gates away And I was like I start rushing using my face mask and I'm like try to breathe and rush at the same time like, <sighs> it was quite tiring yeah with my luggage all that and then when I reached there I was like I told the counter am I the last person they were like yeah you're the last person and I'm like <laughs> I was like I don't know I'm like this is my first time experience like am I late am I the last one it was like it was quite Something that I will never forget because it my first time was not late but the last person. Yeah. And they told me I wasn't late but they would just want to fly earlier. Then I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Once I reached Abu Dhabi and then took the mini bus to the main airport from the plane to the airport, I'll be like I told my friend Anna. Eh hey, Anna, only fine for us only. I was like, yeah. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> so yeah, that's that is what happened. And we went lay over for three hours. I am like, and then like Abu Dhabi is really amazing. Like when I heard the azan, I feel so zen. Like I feel so peaceful. Like, nice. yeah. And and then yeah, but sadly can't use the musola 
because it's COVID period and they don't want to have interaction with one another. From Abu Dhabi to Manchester, shared code with other flights. So to do that going to Manchester. And yeah, and that flight is like about I think it's about three quarter full. So I had seven hours flight from Singapore to Abu Dhabi. And then live over for three hours and then there's another additional seven hours flight from Abu Dhabi to Manchester. And yeah, once I reached down, it was a very smooth journey. And guess what? You know the trolley that we took? We have to pay for one pound. Just to use the trolley. I'm like, oh my god, I'm blessed to be in Singapore. I don't even need to pay for the trolley. I'm like, mm, seriously? Yeah, I totally had no choice but to pay for it because it's like, I have four bags with me. Bag, one large bag, one medium bag, and one cabin bag, and one backpack. So I'm like, I can't carry all the, those bags in. And yeah. And once we went out, it's so easy to spot the person who uh, fetching us because they are wearing the University of Derby uh, t-shirt and then the sign is like, oh hey, I'm from, I'm the student there. And yeah. And once we reached there, we took the coach all the way to accommodation and there's someone greeted us, the host manager, it's so lovely and they are so friendly. Yeah. And then bring us up. So fun fact, my accommodation, it's first floor. So before we fly off, we have thought already, like, this first floor, right? I don't think it's a first floor, first floor. It must be ground and first floor. Yeah, that is my, my, yeah, I got feeling like that lah. And then after that, once I reached there, I'm like, I knew it. And then what happened? There's no lift. So we had to carry one by one the luggage up. Now I'm like, oh my god, we just reached here and we are already working out. I'm like, mm, cool. So, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to comment below or what you guys are looking for. Like, yeah, feel free. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the comment below.